Hey boys and girls, it's Mr. Walls again with another video lesson. This one is our third video lesson for our trombone. And we're going to go right to page six. I'm going to assume that you've played some notes already before you started this video so that you're warmed up a little bit. And we're going to jump right to song number 17, Hot Cross Buns. Hot Cross Buns uses that very, very important note sequence that uses D, C, and B flat. And boy, we do that a lot in all of these familiar songs that we play. Again, we're in fourth position D, end of the slide even with the bell, the hand bar is out here, D, C, and B flat. And then we go back to D again, C, and B flat. Really, really important. We're calling that D our home base note. All right, so let's play this. Here's hot cross buns using D, C, and B. One, two, ready, play. Rest, rest. Rest, rest. stand a little more warming up myself, it looks like, doesn't it? All right, hopefully I'll get even better as I continue to play during this video lesson. So that was Hot Cross Buns. Let's go up and look at Rolling Along, song number 14. Again, uses that incredibly important note sequence, D, C, and B at the very beginning, and the fourth note of the song is a C, and we have circled that note in your band book must make sure that that's the fourth note that you play. Again, we have D, C, B flat, C, and then we go to the three Ds. Okay, here we go. One, two, ready, play. <laughs> And that ending is C, C, and then good old D, C, B. All right. Hey, we're going to come back to um, Hot Cross Buns and Rolling Along in a few minutes. Let's go down to song 18, Go Tell Aunt Rody. This is probably our trickiest song. That we're, it definitely is our trickiest song, isn't it? Okay. Well, let's take a look here. Again, we start with D's and then a C, and then a B. It's that D, C, B sequence. But in this song, we start with a half note D, and then we play another D before we go to the C, ending on two half note B flats. Here we go. Half note D, quarter note D. One, two, ready, play. <laughs> Good. And now next we have a half note C, another C, and then we come up to the third position E flat, fourth position D, C, B. So this is a really tricky place in this song. It begins again with half note C, quarter note C, E flat, and then good old D, C, B. The last three notes in this little two measure place is D, C, B. Okay? Let's start right there at the C's. One, two, two C's. Here we go. <laughs> Continue on the F's at the second breath mark. 
half note F, followed by another F, then E, then D. And make sure that you're definitely stopping in third position for your E flat and fourth position for your D. Here we go. We're at the second breath mark on a half note F, followed by another F. Ready? <sighs> two measures, C, E, and then good old D, C, B. Again, your last three notes are D, C, and B. So here we go. C, E flat, D, C, B flat, and ready, play. <laughs> So that's Gotel and Rodi. We'll come back to that in a few minutes. Look at the top of the next page. At the top of page seven, we learned about the whole note. Whole notes take up the whole measure. So if there's four beats in the measure, a whole note gets all four beats. It's a four beat note. And we also have whole rests. Whole rests are four silent beats. Pretty easy. We're gonna come back to this page in the coming weeks, but for now, we're gonna turn the page Go to page eight, the top of page eight. I think we've already peeked ahead at this. And here is the next note up from F. A, B, C, D, E, F. The next note up is G. Makes sense, doesn't it? And the slide position for G, of course, is the same slide position we use for D. Fourth position, okay? So let's do this. Let's, uh, let's play a D. Let's play a fourth position D. And now we're going to go for that higher note. So we're going to really strengthen our chops and use fast air. And I'm really to get that G to come out. Strong mouth, fast air. Ready? All right. So keep working on those high notes. The secret to playing high notes is to working at playing high notes. It's that simple. Let's look at song 31. I'll bet you're ready to get started on Mozart Melody, which we know is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. The first four notes of Mozart Melody are BBFF. We stay in first position for the first four notes. BBFF. Here's our new note G, fourth position. Play two of them and come right back to F. So in the first two measures, everything is first position except for the two G's. B, B, F, F, G, G, F. Ready? One, two, ready, play. <laughs> two D's, two C's, and we end on a half note B flat. So let's start right there at the first breath mark. Two E's, two D's, two C's, and a B flat. One, two, two E's. Let's continue with F, F, E, E, D, D, C. Ready? We go to the next line and we do the same thing again. F, F, E, E, D, D, C. Ready? And now we're at the first breath mark. B, B, F, F. Ready? Go. Continuing to the end of the song, E, E, D, D, C, C, B. Ready to ease, let's play. <laughs> So, 
We've covered all four of the songs that we're really focusing on right now. Let's go back and play Hot Cross Buns without stopping. So here we are on page six, song number 17, Hot Cross Buns. This looks pretty easy now, doesn't it? D, C, and B flat. One, two, ready, let's go. <laughs> that if you would like probably should and then we'll go up and work on rolling along next so here we are back at Mary had a little lamb called rolling along in our band book and it begins with D C B flat C that's our first four notes and then we end on three D's right D C B flat C D D, D, let's play. And one, two, ready. <sighs> Let's do it again. Starts on D. Here's that D, C, B, C. One, two, again, here we go. Three C's. D, F, F. Sando, your DFF measure. I've shown some of you that. Why not? That's a fun thing to do. I think it's kind of cool. Only the trombone can do that. So you have D, C, B, C, D, 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 C, C, C. Put that glissando in there if you would like. That's cool. Here's Go Tell Aunt Rody again, exercise 18. Half note D followed by another D before you go out to your C. One, two, here we go. interesting melody. Fun song, even though it's about a dead goose, right? Let's play it again. Here we go. Go tell Aunt Rody. Again. One, two Ds. Ready? Go. <laughs> trombone player and you can play through that song accurately all the way through your hot stuff you're doing a great job and everyone will be able to eventually 
Okay, if you're practicing a lot, you'll get there sooner than everybody else, which would be very cool to see. We go back to page eight, back to song number 31, Mozart Melody. So again, we begin with B, B, F, F, G, G, F. Here we go. One, two, ready? E E. F F E E. We do it again. F F E E. BBFF, just like the beginning. EEDD. All right, we're going to do that one more time. This time I'm not going to say anything in, at the breath marks. I'm not going to tell you what the next note is. You'll just have to read the music and you'll have it. Here we go. Mozart melody, twinkle, twinkle, little star. From the beginning. One, two, ready, let's go. <laughs> Mozart Melody. Keep up the great work, trombone players. Hey, take a peek at the next page. If you look at page nine in your band book, almost at the very bottom, you see the song Jingle Bells. We are very, very close to being able to play a really fun holiday song just in time for the holidays. So practice a lot. Have that instrument in your hand every day. It's the only way that you're going to make that brain to hand the connection to develop the muscle memory that you need to play the instrument. That's the most important thing that you can do is to have the instrument in your hand every day, reading music, watching this video, playing along with me in the video, playing the songs on your own. Okay guys, lots of good trombone players this year. Let's keep up the good work. Bye-bye.